You know, there's a great thing about life, and that is that you get to grow into it. You get to grow into being a human being. And uh, there's such a potential of, of joy and love and peace and bliss in this world, in this life, in the experience, regardless of what's going on in, in, in the imagined outside world or in the activity of your own mind. So many of the sages have taught us to go inward. Now, what does that mean? That means to, to, to take your eyes, close your eyes to the outside world, close your mind to the changing. And, and, and in the silence, the ensuing silence of, of your mind, the quietness in there, become aware. Just simply go in and in the middle of your thoughts, don't own them, watch them. Uh, don't own the body, watch the body and start to recognize all of the patterns and the cycles uh, that happened unconsciously in yourself, many of them responsible for the suffering that you go through, for the stress and the anxiety in your life, these old habitual thoughts. And if you spend the time in the inner world of yourself and you become aware of how your mind operates, you begin to see that these thought patterns, these, these repetitious patterns of thought are usually sparked by something coming from the senses. You'll hear something, you'll smell something, you'll taste something, you'll meet somebody, you'll touch somebody or something, and immediately that will click in and start the automatic thinking within. And you see, we have an existence that's separate and apart from that automatic thinking. It's actually separate and apart from all thinking. But this, this, this self, this true human being, that dwells within you, this true human being that isn't caught up in your mental gymnastics and your mental stories of ego about what you are, what you want, where you're going and where you've been. Uh, this self sits behind all of that. It's the unchanging maintainer of I am within you. It's, it's, it's you without the body-mind attributes. The, the, it's that one thing that allows you to know that you are the same I at all different parts of your life, even though the body and mind have been in radically different forms and states throughout your life. And so we're looking for that unchanging absolute within. And it can't be objectified, which means you can't study it and put it in your mind. You can't, you can't objectify, you can't put it in front of you, because it is you. It's your very essence, your very nature. And so the only way uh, to, to experience it is just to rest into being, which means to do away with all other thoughts, with all other sensations of the moment, and in that silence, just allow yourself to sit in openness within. And in that, you become aware of what the sages call that bliss uh, that is inherent to you. It is yours, and it's always there. And it's not that it goes away and you can't hear it. It's that you don't pay attention to it because you're, you're living in the change, the world of change, the world of the senses. You're using this organ for, for living in the world of change instead of dwelling behind that organ and observing it and no becoming aware of your existence prior to body-mind uh, that we get caught up and we, we lose sight of what we are. You are ever free in your nature. You are ever pure in your nature. You have an infinite amount of love to share and receive within. Uh, you know, even the receiving of love happens within your own self. Nothing actually crosses anything or goes anywhere. And all of that love and all of that wisdom, which is inherent in the nature of being, and even our existence itself, when we sit with it and contemplate it and open to it in that inner silence, we find what we're looking for. And we realize that it's not a mountain we have to climb, that it's not a person we have to meet, that it's not a job we have to have, it's not a bank account that we have to fill. It's just the silent joy of existence, of being. And uh, cynicism may step in and try and convince you that something uh, so fairy taleish couldn't be. And it looks like that from a distance. 
but I say give it a shot. Give it a chance. You don't have to change what you believe. You don't have to go running and joining anything. Just sit and be fully human, alone, in quiet. And instead of analyzing and calculating and thinking and remembering, just sit in silence and listen. <laughs> 